there's a place where you can go and rent not only dresses, but high-end designer dresses. Dresses for any occasion, but specifically for your wedding. From the shower to the reception for the bride, bridesmaids, and guests. It's called Rent the Runway. It's so easy. You just search for what you want, choose a size, plus you can get a backup size for free. Add another style for just a little extra, then choose how quickly you need it. You can even get it overnighted. And the returns are always free. Go to fromringtovail.com slash runway. That's fromringtovail.com slash R-U-N-W-A-Y to sign up. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And you are listening to From Ring to Bell, a wedding planning podcast, where we share tips and information to help you plan the wedding of your dreams without all the stress. Spring Wedding Ideas, episode number 116. Subscribe to From Ring to Bell anywhere you listen to podcasts. If we're not there, let us know we want to be there. If you don't know how, just let us know and we'll help you. Spring is just about here. It is. It's March. And we are talking spring wedding trends. Yes. Who doesn't love spring? I love spring. I love spring flowers. I know. Tulips are my favorite flower. And then you're in the right place. Yeah. If you're not in Holland, (laughs) then you're in the right place. Let's start out with trends. A lot of these trends have spread out over the past year as well. But this one is because, you know, most of the weddings have been kind of neutral toned. Mm -hmm. Blushes. Mm-hmm. In spring, you can bring the color back. Yeah, you can. Especially this spring, it's bright, vivid colors. And I absolutely love that. Mm-hmm. Next, you can bring in elaborate entrances, which I am a huge fan of. <laughs> so visualize with me. You've got your arbor that you're standing under. But at the beginning of the aisle... You have another arbor that just enhances the beauty of the whole situation. Or you have the entrance doors. You can do something over the entrance doors. And it's just, it brings in another way to get that visualization from you see this, but then it takes your eye all the way down the aisle. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, bam, here I am kind of thing. I just love (laughs) it. It's my wedding. I love it. And we've been talking about destination weddings a lot recently, mm-hmm. and far away destination weddings are very popular. Right That's now. right. And if you did not hear our podcast with Elsie and Johnny about adventure destination weddings, go you, back and listen. Yes, you have got to go listen to it. <laughs> it is episode number 114. There will be a link in the show notes so that you can easily click on that and listen to it. It was fabulous. Yes. And I think an for a far away adventure destination wedding would be so incredibly fun. <laughs> I like the destination part. I don't know about the adventure part, but anyway, <laughs> zip line. Come on, Janet. <laughs> Having things fly in my face. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so now we have our phones attached to our hand. We have a tablet mm-hmm. wherever we go. So planning virtually is basically what you all do now. Yeah. So everything is on your phone or in your tablet. So you want everything done immediately. Mm -hmm. So that is a big trend that's coming out. Another trend is vertical visual interests, including using empty space, um, meaning the negative space, the space above you, the space around you that's not getting used. Not everything has to be on the table. You don't need a centerpiece on every table. If you have something, a big floral installation hanging from the ceiling, Mm -hmm. you don't need anything down here. That's right. You'll have your plates, your cups, your glasses, your silverware. Which take up a lot of room. Maybe you have candles in the middle and then use all the floral up. Mm -hmm. It could save you money on floral depending on how elaborate you want this floral installation to be that's hanging. So this could be, like I said, a floral chandelier. Some large installation of floral. Chandeliers to begin with. Yeah, chandeliers. Mm -hmm. Lights, fabric, Mm -hmm. pipe and drape. Swag. Anything like that. We have a wedding coming up the 1st of April that's going to have a lot of draping and Mm -hmm. a lot of lighting. And that's our main focus. Right. We do minimal floral on the table. 
Yeah. Minimal she's, floral anywhere, really. Right. She's using her the the open space that's there right. to create something, a, a look, a um, a whole. I don't know, experience mm-hmm. changing the way it looks from, from any other wedding. Right. I think it's going to be gorgeous. So that's another way you can you know, add to your wedding ambiance, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Another trend that we're seeing is garden-inspired florals, greenery-based. Of course, you know, with uh, the color of the year being greenery, mm-hmm. this is going to be very easy and very plentiful Right. Uh, for this year. And it's basically greenery with pops of color, minimal flowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you just think about it, if you're walking into an English garden, there's tons of greenery bushes and hedges and all kinds of stuff with a little bit of flowers here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's beautiful. Unique guest experiences is another trend. This includes food. You can have food stations like self-serve stations like a Sunday bar, a taco bar, mm-hmm. a fajita bar. Talk about Mexican food. Um, <laughs> Barbecue bar. <laughs> mashed potato bar. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Yes. You know, even a baked potato bar. You yeah. know, anything that you have to self-assemble, you can have something like that. And it's a great guest experience because they get to do whatever they want. If it's they fun and memorable. It. And if they don't want something, they don't get it. That's right. Lawn games. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So cornhole and... Lawn darts. Lawn darts, bocce ball, lawn bowling. I guess that's the same thing as bocce ball. You know, anything like that, just to have something to do. Mm -hmm. What's the one that goes through the... Croquet? Croquet, yeah. I was going to say cricket, and I'm like, that's not right. (laughs) No, cricket's a whole... I think croquet's kind of fun. And, you know, even like for some of us, horseshoes, Mm -hmm. some of us like that kind of stuff. Entertainment, cool bands. That'll be a great guest experience. Right. Just... Not a DJ, have a band or have both. Yeah. You know, get the DJ, have a break, and then have your favorite band. If mm-hmm. it's a local band out there to exactly you know, do some live music. Like my husband's band. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very big guest experience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's I'm just good. kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, photo booths, too. That's a guest experience. That's something they get to take home. Right. And that could be their favor. You don't have to get them anything else. That's right. <laughs> you and you can do... There's different types of photo booths now. You have the one with the props where they, you know, mm-hmm. give you the photo right away. There's also digital photo booths now where you get, they'll take the picture and they'll either Instagram it to you with the hashtag or send it to you virtually. Right. So there goes that virtual wedding yeah. experience again. There you go. Bring the virtualness <laughs> into it. It's not like you're virtually there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll have VR weddings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another trend. Dessert bars instead of cakes. And we've talked about this. This has really taken steam and and grown. You know, you have, as we said before, one center cake, a small one that you and your significant other cuts. Mm -hmm. And then you have other desserts for them to eat because not everybody likes cake. That's true. You know, uh, know. pie. That's just wrong. Cookies. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It was pie day. (laughs) <laughs> donut wall hello <laughs> hello or just a donut bar it doesn't need to be a donut wall well, i like the wall but you could also have a, a food truck a, a dessert food truck i know that there's one that's out here that does pancakes mm-hmm. How fun would that be? i love that late night snacks i think we've said this on another trend before but it's really big mm-hmm. right now it you dance the nights yeah you dance the night away there's no more food, mm-hmm. but you're starting to death because you danced all night long and mm-hmm. you need some food to soak up that alcohol that you just drank. And you don't want to have another piece of cake. Right. So, I mean, late night snacks. That could be breakfast burritos. Yes. Hey. <laughs> hey, nobody says it's wrong to have breakfast mm-hmm. at night. Breakfast burritos, cookies and milk, which is really kind of sweet. I don't mm-hmm. really, I wouldn't personally wouldn't do that. Yeah. S- slider sandwiches. Oh, yeah. And of course, a taco, a taco truck yeah. or another food truck would be good too. I mean, I really like the food trucks. If you can't tell, <laughs> another trend is having food everywhere, different food stations, mm-hmm. never ending. So it's constantly being refilled, so they can nosh all night long. Right, and different, like different themes at each one. Like right. there's a dessert one, and there's a barbecue one, and then right. there's a pasta one or whatever. And it kind of goes with the food station thing, I think mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Same kind of thing. You can leave it all out there and then just 
go graze, I guess. Yeah, that's Instead right. of having a sit-down dinner, which a lot of people don't want sit-down dinners. That's right. It's, you know, it's up to you, of course, what yeah. you want for your wedding if you want more traditional or you want to do something different and fun. Mm-hmm. Another one that, that's, that's, I think... I think is what's happening is people are living together before they get married, so they have everything they need. So they say, instead of giving us a gift, give to a charity, and these are the ones we would like you to give right. to. That would be awesome. I mean, it really just makes sense if you have everything you need, mm-hmm. then just give it away to somebody, somebody who does need it. Right. I think it's a great trend that's happening. Going on with the virtual wedding planning, you have tech things that you can do at your wedding. Like you can get a personalized Snapchat filter. Mm -hmm. There's lots of places you can get that. Um, You can do live streaming. If somebody can't come to your wedding, Mm -hmm. live stream it. That's right. Skype it or whatever you Mm want to do. I don't know that you can do it on like Facebook live. I'm not really sure how long you can do a Facebook live. I don't know. I'm not versed in those yet. Facebook Live, that stupid giraffe thing's been on forever. So I, It's not Facebook Live, is it? Yes. Are you sure? I thought it was like YouTube or something. No, I thought it was Facebook Live. Anyway, I don't, I mean, how long she been trying to deliver that giraffe kit? Or have you tried to deliver a giraffe? Those things have arms and legs and necks. Those things are hard to deliver. She's been trying to deliver for a month. <laughs> Poor thing. Anyway. So oh. probably by the time you listen to this, she would have had it. Well, we play. hope. <laughs> anyway, so you can live stream your wedding. You can have hashtags, of course. So we've talked about this. Yeah. And I think websites. that's been going on for yeah. quite a while. And wedding websites where you get your guests to come in and leave comments and say, oh, yeah, pictures, pictures and things. And they can come back after the wedding and see them and mm-hmm. things. Because guests, if they don't want a picture or a photo from your wedding, they don't, you know, if they were in one, they're mm-hmm. never going to get it. So That's if they right. see it on your website, they can always go back to it. What's fun is they, they're they like all encompassing. You have everything you need. It's like basically your online save the date um, invitation. RSVP. RSVPs. Here's where you need to go. Mm-hmm. Here, you know, here's, here's what we're offering. Here's suggestions for lodging. Everything. Everything. And, and if you are looking in for one, you can go to fromringtoveil.com slash appy, A-P-P-Y, and check out those uh, wedding websites there. Yeah. You don't want regular flowers at your wedding. Paper flower bouquets are very popular. They've been around for ages, but they're yeah. really com- becoming to the forefront. And not just for bouquets. You can have them for altar decorations. You can have them in your centerpieces. Hair. Everything. Right. And they're really pretty. And somebody's got to be really talented to make them look really nice. Yeah. Um, and, of course, we like the book ones. Yeah. <laughs> Have a whole bouquet of book flowers. <laughs> Sustainable weddings. Now, I'm, I'm working on trying to find somebody to come talk to us or uh, with us about sustainable weddings because I think this one is going to be a big deal. Right. Uh, we already have had green weddings, but this just kind of kicks it up a notch. Right. So this is like farm to table food. Like you're there at their farm having your wedding. That food that came from the farm is going to be on your table prepared mm-hmm. by their chefs or whatever. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? And if they have a flower farm, mm-hmm. you get your flowers there too. That's right. So locals, mm-hmm. you know. Reduce your carbon footprint. Use your local vendors. Use your local flower vendors, your local food vendors, things like that. Mm -hmm. Recyclable products. Yeah. Which I think includes, um, I guess it's more reusable, but like rentals that are Mm -hmm. going to be used and used and used and used. Right. All right. So those were the trends that we found that are either continuing or coming up or getting bigger uh, for this year. Now we're going to talk about florals. For your spring wedding. Because, you know, we have to talk about florals. <laughs> so it's just not flowers. That's like right. you use your own, like for bouquets and centerpieces. Mm-hmm. Flowers are being used in your table linens. Your invitations. You have hair pieces that with floral, which, you know, that's real floral. You have them on cake. Instead of using a regular topper with mm-hmm. a bride and groom or, you know, something that says something. Flowers are adorning cakes and they're gorgeous. I mean, and what what says spring wedding more than floral. Right. Even floral wedding dresses. You know what I mean? Right. Like, that just makes sense. It's spring. It's flowers. It's... I mean, you just don't have it. the, you know, the same color dresses. You have floral prints. Mm-hmm. Even the, even the bride's dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was... What was it the other day I was watching? 
It was Rain. Mm-hmm. Where Claude got married, and we're talking about TV now. <laughs> but her dress was white, but it had all of these floral appliques all over it. Like 3D floral yeah. appliques all over it. I thought, mm, I don't think I that would have happened Yeah, back I know, then, but, but it was cool because, was I mean, really it's a trend pretty. now. Yeah, it was really And even pretty. they played modern music. They yeah, played. they do. I love that. I love that. I'm like, hey, I know that song. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That was from Fifty Shades. <laughs> okay. Anyway. But, I mean, you see them everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can have floral cutout appliques on your dresses. You can have a floral print with, you know, you're having a color for wedding. Get a floral print dress. We've seen some really gorgeous floral print dresses, bridal dresses. Mm -hmm. Okay, colorful touches, like, you know, bringing the florals into your Mm -hmm. wedding dress and your shoes. Yeah, you could wear a white dress. Maybe you have floral shoes. Or a different color pair of shoes. Yeah. You know, it doesn't need to be white shoes. Maybe Mm -hmm. it's bright pink. Mm Mm-hmm. Fuchsia. Royal blue, pink chucks, <laughs> anyway. however you want to do it. Also, refreshing drink stations throughout your wedding. you not just at the reception, but before your wedding, when they come into the ceremony, especially if you're having one outside, mm-hmm. depending on your region, it could be hot. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I remember um, I went to a wedding. It was, the, it was midsummer, but it would also work for a very warm um, spring, too. But they gave out, um, you know, the Mexican pops mm-hmm. in the in the bottles mm-hmm. and then they had really cute straws <laughs> those were were given out because yeah. it was hot right it was in they were just they were very nice and cold and you could have a lemonade station cucumber water yeah lemon water all kinds of different waters yeah berry water <laughs> whatever there is now <sighs> garden inspired escort cards your escort cards are your place cards if you don't know what escort cards are so you have floral prints on them to go mm-hmm. along with your wedding invitations. You kind of have it, want it all into like a suite kind of thing. Right. You want it all to combine and be cohesive. And if you decide instead of going with flowers, you could go with botanicals, you know, just like ferns or right. some kind of a green leaf. And that would also be mm-hmm. a garden inspired. Right. Cheerful, colorful centerpieces, which, well, I mean, like, why wouldn't you do that? Right. Because spring flowers are all about the colors. You mm-hmm. have yellows, you have purples, you have oranges, mm-hmm. you know. Pinks. Yeah, orange is not just for fall. Right. You have gorgeous tulips that are orange that I love. Mm-hmm. I saw a centerpiece. I think it was on Instagram when I was scrolling through. It was beautiful. There were yellow ranunculus, mm-hmm. and then they had some pink, very uh, uh, light pink something I, I don't remember what it was mm-hmm. with it and i thought how springy is that right. and even i mean you wouldn't think orange and reds and pinks mm-hmm. would go all together but if you put them in a bouquet with some greenery and things like that they all combine mm-hmm. they all have color variations that will look good together so you yeah. know i just i love colorful centerpieces and bouquets spring is so fun right <laughs> it's exciting and there's such Especially early spring and mid spring, you have so many, so much. You have so many varieties of flowers that are blooming. You have mm-hmm. muscari, you have tulips, you have daisies, you have, you know, still you have your roses and things like that. But mm-hmm. there's so much color: irises, daffodils early in the spring. Yep, that bright yellow, <gasps> so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's talk about favors for a minute. You know our stance on that, but if you are giving out favors if you decide to do so you know we've all seen the little succulents that everybody gets to take home well you can do other things in succulents you can do herbs you can do little bitty plants you You can can do do flowers yeah Yeah. you can give away bulbs and they can plant them and they'll hey that i got that from so-and-so's wedding especially if it's one that comes back every year Mm -hmm. like tulips (laughs) (laughs) i mean that i think that to me is a way better favor than like some plastic sunglasses or something yeah so it's a spring wedding what happens in spring it rains it rains have umbrellas for the outdoor use like Mm -hmm. have a bucket full of umbrellas just so in case it rains they could you know use them yes i would say clear right if you can find the clear ones Mm -hmm. and also it's kind of chilly sometimes in the spring wear cardigans over your dress there's mm-hmm. some beautiful cashmere cardigans out there that you can have over your dress, and they come in many, many different colors. So I would use those and put over your dress. And I would say 
not just for the bride, but also for the for the bridesmaids. Right. And you know, the guys are most likely going to be pretty warm, especially if they're wearing their suit jackets. Yeah. But they can also be kind of hipster and wear cardigans mm-hmm. and ties, mm-hmm. bow ties. Or like Mr. Rogers sweaters. Yeah. That would be cool. Well, he said that's a cardigan, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, he used to put a cardigan on. He used to take his other sweater off and put a cardigan or on. Or zip up one. Did he zip it up? <laughs> I don't remember. I can't remember. It's I think so one long. he did. He yeah. did zip up. So anyway, yeah, that, you can find some really unique Be pieces. retro. <laughs> Be retro. Okay, now we're moving into the actual florals for spring. You know. Yeah. You know us. So we had a blog post. So we'll attach the link to the blog post on here. But these are some early spring blooms that you can use for your wedding. That's right. Daffodils, tulips, lilac. They don't, lilac doesn't last very long. Anemones, hyacinth, helleborus, lily of the valley, and blossoming tree branches. Apple, pear, you know, any kind of blossoming tree. Cherry, Mm -hmm. plum. I think those will last for a little bit, right? Yeah. They'll cut them off and then they'll last for a little bit. But then, you know. You gotta, you gotta use them. Yeah. So that's early spring, March and April. These are, these are what's, what's usually available for you. Now, late spring, which is basically May. Everybody, early June. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, depending on where you live, of course, um, the thing that everybody wants is peonies. This is the time to get peonies. May, right? <laughs> yes, May and May June. May and June, peonies. Queen Anne's Lace. Sweet peas, poppies. Oh, talk about red. Yeah. You know, that's red or yellow or orange. Uh, uh, Maiden hair fern, iris, dahlias. Now, here around here, dahlias are plentiful throughout the whole summer, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And they are in pretty much any color that you want. (laughs) Big as your head or teeny tiny, round, Mm -hmm. whatever. Feverfew and foxglove. So these are just a few, you know, well. Quite not a few. <laughs> Quite a bit of trends for the spring and things that you need to think about for your spring wedding. Either if it's this year for a late spring, you know, pop-up wedding, mm-hmm. elopement, or you're planning for next spring, they can be carried over. These That's are right. traditional trends. Like, yes. not just trendy. Right. These will last. Yes. Exactly. So if you're 2018 mm-hmm. already <laughs> planning your spring wedding... These will be hopefully good. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we're talking about, if you're wanting to find maybe a charity that you want to have your guests contribute to, can help you find that. Maybe if you need, are looking for some local vendors, even we can absolutely give you some suggestions. Right? So don't and we do? We love to do research. So if you have yeah. a question, like if you're in a different part of this, the country and you want. Hey, I want a florist to do this, or I mm-hmm. want you know. We'll look it up. Yeah, we're part, especially with floral. You're part of a few different yeah groups that were where it's nationwide. Mm-hmm. If we don't know where it's at, we can you know definitely ask other people because mm-hmm. we have great contacts. So yes, I mean, if do. you just have a question on anything that relates to the wedding, feel free to email us at info at firmingdevelop.com. And if you'd like to support us monetarily, please check out our Patreon page at firmingdevelop.com slash give. We'd really appreciate it. (laughs) Until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtoveil.com. Music provided by bensound.com.